Hey everybody, Tim again, Tim's Computer Repair. I have a Dell here that is apparently having some issues. I can see it's got a refurbished sticker there on it. The issue, this is a probably a fairly old laptop here as it's got the CD drive here. But the issue with this Dell laptop, he says that it is crashing and freezing. So when I get a Dell in, the good thing about Dell is they have built-in software that will let you diagnose the computer outside of the operating system. So that's what we're going to try and do here. Let me just open it up. And to do that, press the power button. You just start pressing F12. And that will bring up a type of a menu. Well, I think if it'll even bring anything up. It's not even powering on. It's got a uh, power light. No display. Well, that's interesting. He said that it would uh, crash every now and then and freeze. We're not even getting a, a screen here. Let me power it off. Try it again. Power it on. We're not even getting a post here. Not even a post. Well, that was crazy. So that time it came on, I, I'm really not sure what's going on with that. But by pressing F12, you'll get a menu very similar to this with all Dells. And uh, right down here, you have Diagnostics. We'll hit Diagnostics. It'll start to initialize. Go through its little sequence. Yes, the colors were displayed. Then it starts testing things. But I want to... I want to press Escape to stop the process there because I want to test individual parts of this laptop. Take it a second. It will stop. It did. Okay. I'm going to come down to uh, this little arrow down here. And we got individual part testing here. Let's see. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. All right, we did the display. Let's test the hard drive real quick, which is right here. Let's test that. Oop. Test the hard drive. Okay, as we can see here, all tests pass on that drive, so the drive is good to go. I think the next thing I want to try to test here for is... Oh. Look at that screen flickering. You see it? Look at it. Look at that. I wonder if that's video. Or if that's just the display. Looks like it's the display. But, uh... It's frozen. Yeah, it's frozen. Ooh, we got a flashing light down here. Okay, so after this test passed here, and I did notice the display going funny. I can see some lines. I don't think that's something that he's concerned about. It is, that is the... It's like the screen has issues, but um, it's frozen now. This computer is frozen. It will not respond to anything, but I have noticed here... Look at this. One, two, three, four, white. And it's one, two, amber. So it's two amber and four white flashes. That is actually a code that Dell built into their motherboards 
and based upon the flash codes that I've looked up, that points to memory, which makes sense if he's blue screening and freezing. And even sometimes I wasn't even able to get it to post. Now this, this display issue, and I don't know if this is showing up on camera, but I'm getting a lot of lines and all that. That is, that is, that is, I touch the screen and it changes. So um, it looks like his display is on his way out. I am going to power this down. And we're going to open this up and swap out the memory and see how this guy performs, okay? As we can see here, here's our RAM. This is DDR4. This is an 8 gig stick. According to those codes that the light was blinking, there's an issue with this RAM stick. Let me see if I can go ahead and hook up another 8 gig uh, PC4 RAM stick here. There's a four. I could do two fours, which is what I might try to do. That would be even in dual channel mode if I do that. Four gig, four gig, yep. They match. So let's see, let's just pop these in. And he'll even get dual channel with those, so you might get a little bit of a performance boost there with that. <clears throat> now obviously I won't close this back up until I test everything. What I can do though, I can just rest this on here. Open this up. Oh. Snap that in so I can plug this in. All right, let's hit this power button. And hope we can get a post here. Oh, well, it likes the RAM. Let's let this load and let's see how the performance is. Okay, there we go. We got a post. We got a account screen here. Okay, and here we are loaded up. We're going to leave this running for a while. But I, he said that it was crashing pretty constantly. So we're just going to connect to my internet here, have a play around with it for a while. I do believe that this is going to solve his problem. I even had trouble during boot up. It froze during the diagnostic test. And now he even has RAM in dual channel mode. So 
I'm going to do a few more things to test this, maybe run some RAM tests and see if it crashes or see how stable it is. But I'm going to go ahead for this video and say this problem was solved. You know what's funny? Those video anomalies went away too. That ad is funny. Those video anomalies did go away. This computer got checked into my shop. I just wanted to take you guys along for the ride. Pay attention to those beep, those beep codes and those light codes on the power buttons or sometimes even the caps lock light or flash codes. Sometimes the, the LED, the, the uh, power light button will give codes. Sometimes the button itself will give codes. So pay attention to those. It means something. It will lead you in the, in the right direction. I am Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.